this earnings season, everyone was expecting there to be sort of this, you know, earnings recession upon us. Um, I think that for the most part, you know, we haven't seen estimates being ratcheted down after this first couple of weeks of earnings. I think the other thing is, is obviously with the Fed's uh, Fed speak is incredibly dovish uh, and remains such as as we saw this morning. So uh, I think for us, you know, in looking at, you know, the, the stocks that are attractive right now, it's across a wide variety of sectors. But I do think that there are some characteristics that are that are consistent if you're looking at things to buy. Okay, So, Steve, I mentioned this MKM note, right? This March higher continues. Nice thick notice to all the reasons why the stock market can continue to go higher. I'll distill that down to, to one line towards the top. We believe the underlying technical strength is powerful enough to keep the market grinding higher. That's where we are. Fundamentals good, matched by good technicals. So that's true. And what we're looking for now is, and what I'm looking for, is the, for the market to move higher. I mean, let's face it, if you call for the market to go down, you're making a one in five bet because the market always goes up more than 80 percent of the time. However, I think it's too early to call victory on an earnings recession. We're not even out of the first inning of a nine inning game. So we've seen very few companies report. We're going to get into the heart of it. We saw the banks. The banks were mixed, weren't they? I mean, we had Wells, which, you know, wasn't great. Hey, it was Wells kind is of its own case, It's though. its own you case, can, but City also case, missed right? the top line. Golden missed in the top line. So you've had some mixed things going on there. The message from Jamie Dimon was very good, very strong on loan growth. We don't know how much that is market share. So I still think it's too early. However, the market, I believe, is you've heard so much about earnings recession. Whether we have one or not, it's not going to matter because it's old news at this point. And right now, without any other place to go, with a 10-year still trading at two and a half, and with the Fed still setting you up, although leaving the opportunity for themselves to raise rates if inflation picks up, you know, I think the market can grind higher, but I'm not looking for a blowout 20 percent from here. Okay, Josh, more from the MKM note. Forty seven percent of the S&P 1500 members appear in their uptrend. Stocks are in, quote, strong hands. Volatility is depressed. Below average vol. Managers can continue to put money to work with ease. Is that how you see it? I do. And I also think there's a lot of career risk for uh, active managers who are seeing redemptions every month, every year, uh, almost for the entirety of the decade. But the ones that are still uh, active and, and really going for it, um, they are now faced with a scenario where the S&P is a 15 percent year to date. And so if they had done a lot of hedging earlier this year um, or had to raise cash for redemptions or um, were in the sectors that lagged, you, this is right around the time of the year where people are starting to say, all right, we've got to finish out the first half. And I do think that there is an element of market activity that is wholly unrelated to the fundamentals which is what do managers want to buy and sell to, I don't want to say window dress, but to position their portfolios um, for the least possible need to deliver bad news to the fund company they work for and, by extension, to the institutional investors, retail investors. So what does that mean in practice? I think the winners win even more. And I think the stocks that have gotten us here, you look at the Dow 30, the 10 or so stocks that have uh, 15 to 20 percent gains in the Dow 30, those get bought hand over fist, and we talk about them every day. Um, so that'll be great for stocks like Apple. Um, and then I think the secondary component of this is you have every sector in the green. So we've had rallies in the past where really half the stocks participated, the other half didn't, and we were saying, oh, it's a, it's a tale of two cities, it's a have and the have-nots. Tell me what's not working right now. Healthcare. I'll fall out of my. No, it's starting to in the last well, week. <clears throat> and healthcare was one of the leading sectors last week. So, that, look, you, you, ha you have catch up trades working, things like healthcare. And, and Joe, you could speak more to that on the individual stock level. But then you've got these sectors that nobody was thinking about, like REITs and utilities um, still ahead. So, I, I just think there's a lot to like. And to, that's why I agree with Steve. I think the market is poised to be higher. And by the way, I mentioned this on Friday. You don't have a new high in price yet, but you have a new high in total return S&P.